States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I think before we go to our moment of silence, it, it might be well to just mention uh, the uh, Lamar Hamlin situation and, and nearly a miracle, I think, uh, for that gentleman to be with us. And the fact that uh, the Bengals, the city of Cincinnati, uh, the Bills, and the city of Buffalo all joined hands and uh, possibly brought that young man back. So if you'd all just uh, join me in a moment of silence.
the water department issued a press release a few days before the cold snap advising customers that frozen pipes were lucky and how to avoid them. I think a lot of us have forgotten what it meant if it dropped below zero, and especially with blizzard condition winds. I see also customers are reminded to sign up for the automatic notification of leaks to the plumbing. Sign up by clicking manage my water consumption. And I think Andrea is trying to pull that up right I now. Am. There is a link near the bottom of the utility building page on the city website. Have any luck there, Andrea? Yes. There we go. Good there man. we go. But <laughs> and, and I know this is part of the job. But what what outstanding employees do you know, they give up their Christmas to take care of our citizens. Like then I couldn't be more, more proud of them. Along with our own Jessica at uh, Transit, we just got an ODOT grant for $55,480. But nobody can outdo Rick. <laughs> Wastewater grant was in this last federal spending <coughs> and we received four hundred thousand dollars towards our new wastewater plant. And I also want to give a shout out to Congressman Kerry, who no longer is our congressman, right? But he put that in the budget for us and uh, we're gonna get that money. If you get a chance, you ever bump into him, thank you. Thank, thank him so much for helping out his hometown. Uh, let's see. You're probably here, tired to hear about code enforcement. I'm going to get tired of doing this. But we've got a property. Alberto. I don't know how many of you are familiar with it. A whole series of pictures in here I'm sure you all received. In this case, it's been over for 772 days. It is an absolute piece of crap. Steve really manages it for absentee landlords. And it needs to be torn down. <coughs> and we need to enforce it and make him do that. That's an embarrassment of our city. If it's not fair for the citizens to live in that neighborhood. And after that, we're at Drave. Jeff Hawk, would you come forward, please? And Jeff, if you got anybody that would like to join you, please invite them to join us. Oh, yeah, don't forget the microphone. <laughs>
And upon retirement, Jeff will have served the city of Wilmington 41 years, five months, and 12 days. Whereas with integrity, a tenacious work ethic, an analytical mind, and excellent communication skills, he has used his gift to continually improve the operation of the water treatment plant. Whereas Jeff's dedication to his work has helped ensure the citizens of Wilmington have access to abundant supply of safe drinking water. And whereas Jeff's last day with the Wilmington Water Department for the city of Wilmington is July 31st, 2022. Now therefore, I, John M. Stanford, Mayor of the City of Wilmington, Ohio, on behalf of a grateful community, do hereby recognize Jeff Hawk and offer my heartfelt, well felt congratulations to this dedicated water professional honoring 42 years of service to the city with dedication, experience. Jeff inspired and guided his fellow operators to provide the best service to the city. Congratulations, Jeff. One piece of legislation, Mr. President. Mr. Shotty. Yes. Before I get to that, um, I want to introduce, I don't know if, we, if we've formally introduced Adam Simpson to council as our superintendent for the water. Sorry, but... Superintendent for the water department. <laughs> Rick, I'm going to have to pass the mic to you, so do you want to give a, oh, a few comments? I might. That's wonderful. Yeah, I know. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, that might throw me off, but, but yeah, Adam did already deal as superintendent, um, a couple months ago, he did with a hit thing that I was running, he did, like, um, we were talking about, he, he uh, kept it running over the next uh, through this weekend, and, and uh, it's, uh, he's been with the city 15 years, about 10 years to the operator, right? Uh, six years. Six, oh, sorry. And uh, he knows it better than I do, so, so uh, we're in good shape. So he'll be around more and more as I let him uh, run the place. It's hard to let go, but we'll be like a good guy to do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think you also live two doors down from me, too. So. Yep. <laughs> All right, I just have one piece of legislation tonight. 
it's a grant um, from the um, from the curbside recycling grant from the Clinton County Solid Waste District. I was actually surprised because usually they rotate who is the chair on the Clinton County Solid Waste Management District, and they insisted on me being the chair again this year. So I got nominated to be chair of the Clinton County Solid Waste Management District. So I'm excited about that, and um, I would like for you to accept a grant and do through reading so we can get our, get our money for recycling grant. Can someone bring that legislation forward, please? Go for it. Make a motion that we accept the uh, resolution uh, 23-1, expecting the uh, accepting the grant from the Clinton County Solid Waste District. Motion for first reading. Second. Motion by Lairman, second by McKay. Uh, first reading resolution 2301. All in favor, signify by. Aye. Uh, the first reading passes. Uh, a resolution accepting a grant from the Clinton County Solid Waste District curbside recycling grant and declaring an emergency. Motion to suspend the rules and give the resolution the second third reading. Second. Motion to second. accepting a grant from the Clinton County Solid Waste District curbside recycling grant and declaring an emergency. And a motion for passage. Second. A motion and second for passage. Roll call, please. Learman? Yes. Osborne? Yes. Albright? Yes. Evelyn? Yes. Perky? Yes. McKay? Yes. Thank you. Resolution 2301 passes. That's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shire. Now we move into uh, council committee reports and action. City revitalization committee, Mr. McKay. Uh, we have no official legislation tonight, but we are going to have some legislation coming down the pike. Uh, the uh, city uh, hotel lodging tax committee met, and they're going to be sending us some uh, some legislation to go over. Uh, it's going to go through committee first and make sure we got everything correct that we want to and then it's going to finally come to city council so we'll just be expecting that that'll be in february but it, it's been a long time coming and and we just we, we need to we need to get on with it but we got to make sure we're doing it we're going to do it right and so uh we'll just stay tuned to this channel that's all i have mr president thank you sir uh city services committee mr evil no report this one mr president thank you uh finance committee mr over no report is even Mr. President. Thank you. Judiciary Committee, Mr. Kirk. Wow, I've got a few things to talk about tonight. If you do. Uh, let's see, the, the first item on the agenda tonight for me is a, a second reading of Ordinance 2265. If you remember at our last meeting, we discussed a, a granting a, a access easement down at the end of uh, uh, what was it? Morris and uh, Southwind there. Uh, we went through the map and kind of discussed this last time, so I'll, I'll spare the detail. I have, been fishing for questions and haven't received any about it. So I don't know if anybody else had any questions or anything that we could answer beforehand. Uh, I think the most important thing to remember here is that should there ever be a need for us to have access again, if you read through all the legislation there, it does uh, provide us the right to revoke the easement uh, at their expense. So uh, that made it a pretty pretty open and shut case for me, but uh, I just wanted to make sure we had a chance for everybody to talk about that. So it is a 20 foot easement uh, with the 30 foot off the existing property. Any other questions? Okay, well seeing none, we'll uh, move for the second reading reading of ordinance 2265 by title only. Second. Motion by Kirby, second by McKay. Second reading ordinance 2265. Uh, roll call, please. Thank you. You did. Sorry. Throw me off my game. Okay, Osborne. Yes. Albright? Yes. Evelyn? Yes. Perky? Yes. McKay? Yes. Learman? Yes. Motion carries. May we have a second reading, please? An ordinance authorizing the granting of access easements for the South Wind subdivision. Thank you, sir. I'd ask for the third reading at our uh, 19th, our next meeting, so 
Uh, that's all we have for that. Uh, moving on to item B, it's the first reading of resolution 2302. Um, we are adopting a new public records policy. So you should have all received a copy of it. Did you have a chance to read through? Um, we should have had this document ready and available all along, but it had gotten lost in the shuffle somewhere along the way. So uh, needed some updating and modernizing. I remember the first time we looked at it, the, the original version from way back when didn't even include email in it. So we needed to uh, make sure that this was up to date, uh, current with the, the laws and, uh, and the technology is now available. So uh, were there any questions about this? I've got our uh, director of human resources is here, so he can help answer any questions we have about that. Does that break a request uh, coincide with the, with the Ohio, the Ohio Revised Code and Sunshine Rules? Yes. Okay. Thank you. That's oftentimes when you see it updated, that is because something law has changed. <coughs> Much like uh, I'm sure at some point the chief will bring to us some, the state will change the traffic law and we have to update our ordinance to, to match. But. Yep. Any other questions? <coughs> okay, seeing that, we'll move to the first reading of Ordinance 2302 by title only. Second. Motion by first and second by all. Right. Uh, resolution first reading. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Give me a first reading. The resolution adopting a revised City of Wilmington Public Records Policy. Thank you. We ask for the second and third reading at our next meeting. And We'll ask for the second reading on our uh, January 19th. Second. Okay. Got it. Okay. Moving on, the next item on our agenda may look familiar to some of the fellow council members up here. Uh, at our our last meeting, we had some legislation come before us regarding regarding a um, a mortgage on the uh, Holly Block building at 23 South South Street, and there has been a, a buyer. There's a very long complicated process for this, but uh, in negotiation with the old property owner, there are a lot of liens on the property, and so in order to clear up some of those, the property owner was uh, able to take out a loan, and the attorney who was working on for us told us that the, he believed that the IRS would settle their lien holder position for the amount that was owed, and forgive the, uh, some of the penalties and late payments that were there, but they did not. And so, in the last two weeks, uh, yeah, we thought at one point we wouldn't have to because our portion of the, we were the first position holder on it, so our, our portion would be uh, would be taken care of in the transfer of the building. Uh, we had a $27,000 uh, outstanding uh, loan there, and I was speaking Justin Dickman as the, the land bank is the person who orchestrated this, and he believes that the ultimate liability would be about $15,000, but um, of the 27 will be on us too. But, it is a very, the, the property will, this will complete the sale of property, provided all of everything gets signed and taken care of through the IRS. They're the last check on the checklist, but uh, it, it, their attorneys have negotiated with us when I think they figured out to, to clear up those, those taxes from their, for their interests. So I, it was something I thought we weren't gonna have to deal with two weeks ago, and here it is back in front of us, but uh, it is timely because of the, uh, they're trying to come around to by the end of the year, we're definitely in a crunch for it. So, um, it, the original copy of the mix, flipping through right now, the original copy of the uh, deed is right there. The original terms of it from back in so years ago. Was it, what's the date on that one? 97. 97. 91. 97. So, yeah, the, uh, I know that, I believe Justin has reached out to most of you to kind of have a one on one conversation about this because he wanted to be here tonight and couldn't. He was recently appointed to the uh, Ohio Land Bank Board. <coughs> and they had an emergency meeting to appoint a new director tonight, so he didn't be here. So I've got a few notes. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. But are there any? <coughs> no. I'm happy to see any recovery of that, <laughs> that money, to be honest. Well, yeah. it's just an important project. It's a very big it project. But I mean, there are a lot of those, a lot of those things that we kind of just, after a while, you just assume, you know, might, might never see it. So it's nice to, uh, nice to see some recovery part of it anyway. So, um, all right. Seeing no questions or comments, I'll move to the first reading of resolution of 2303 by title only. Second. Motion by first and second by Evelyn. First reading of uh, resolution 2303. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Resolution 
authorizing the release of a certain mortgage encumbering certain real property in the city of Wilmington, Ohio, and declaring an emergency. We move to suspend the rules and regulations and give resolution 2303 a second and third reading by title only. Second. Motion second for suspension of the rules. May we have roll call, please? Albright? Yes. Evelyn? Yes. Turkey? Yes. McKay? Yes. Learman? Yes. Osborne? Yes. Motion carries. May we have a second and third reading? A resolution authorizing the release of a certain mortgage encumbering certain real property in the city of Wilmington, Ohio, and declaring an emergency. Move to pass resolution 2303 as read. Second. Motion second for the passage. Roll call, please. <coughs> Evelyn? Yes. Perky? Yes. McKay? Yes. Learman? Yes. Osborne? Yes. Albright? Yes. Thank you. Resolution 2303 passes. Thank you very much. I appreciate everybody considering that all one evening tonight. Uh, the last thing on my agenda tonight is the first reading on Ordinance 2301. Uh, if you recall, we're, uh, last year when we discussed uh, city employee pay, we discussed a 2% increase in cost of living adjustment for last year and for this year, uh, which is a show of good faith. I mean, obviously the inflation has gone well above 2%, but uh, that, is, that is something that we, uh, we want to try to do as we look at a larger overall compensation package for the for the employees of the city. Uh, we want to appreciate them and, and try to help get them adjusted. So being early in the year, we don't want to drag it out. We want to get this uh, thing care as quickly as possible. So uh, I'm happy to open any questions or discussions, but there was an attachment of the change in steps that everybody saw up there. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Historically, that will stick with us. But it is uh, we are in unprecedented times as far as the economic impact of inflation and other things. Uh, and I think the two percent is a is is a nice is a nice step in the right direction. So, any questions I can answer about that? Or? <coughs> I have several subject matter experts here. You need any? No? Okay. Excellent. Uh, then I'll move to the first reading of Ordinance Twenty Three Zero One uh, by Title Only. Second. Motion second. amending ordinance number 022-08 to increase wages under the employee pay plan for calendar year 2023 and declaring an emergency. All right, thank you. Because it is timely, uh, I'd like to have the second and third reading on our January 19th meeting, please. And believe it or not, that's all I have, Mr. President. All right. It's not that bad. Okay, I will take 
care if that's going to be Okay. I wanted to come here to make an exciting announcement tonight. In our last reporter's meeting with Chief Ron Spencer, he agreed that he would reach out to the FBI and investigate my daughter Casey Spencer's suspicious, suspicious death. We mentioned that we would write up that letter and concerns the chief has agreed to forward the letter and request for the FBI to come investigate. Thank you, Chief, for agreeing to do the right thing, and thanks for the great Christmas present for our family and all of Casey's supporters. Amen. Mr. Mayor and Mr. Sittinger, here is your own copy of that letter for you and list of the many concerns regarding my daughter's case. Chief, you have been forwarded the email. Mayor and safety director, I do hope you help the chief in the request and get the FBI in here to investigate my daughter's murder. Mr. Mayor, you stated publicly that the city of Wilmington takes all allegations of misconduct very seriously, right? Very seriously, you said that. Which is why we have sought independent investigations into the allegations against our officers and staff. Thank you for formally agreeing to address my allegations appropriately by requesting that the FBI investigate my daughter's death. Yeah. Not a single response from you or the mayor. 
I said, so my question is, why have you done nothing? Why haven't you done your job? Why have you failed to protect the safety of the citizens of Wilmington, Ohio? Um, also, Mr. Schittaker, Mr. Mayor, I have reached out to both of you with solid evidence and extremely reasonable complaints, and neither one of you have ever responded to any of my inquiries, not even once. Why is that, I ask you? Why do you refuse to do your job and to do the right thing? Please, I'd like to know. And a written response. Thank you. Well, I'm here I would like to give this to you because I don't want my questions out of context. There's just the exact one. Right, thank, you. thank you. That is very helpful. <coughs>
purchase office furniture, office supplies, janitor supplies, PPE, office uh, lighting, and promotional materials.
I, I know, Chief, you went out New Year's Eve. Um, it, it is much appreciated um, because we are we are a family, and they take wonderful care of our city during the holidays, and, and they should not be forgotten. So I just I do that every year. I I, I always try to remember, but um, it's a special time, and, and they give up a lot of family time for us. So it's just much appreciated. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Well, and as the mayor mentioned earlier, that was in the middle of cold snap. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they had to respond to my workplace. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. Anyone else have comments? Uh, I would ask for a motion. Uh, motion to adjourn. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Andrea, I don't know if it's horrible.